All right, guys, I'm here again to talk about research investigations, but this time we're talking about the last two criteria together. So the third criteria is conclusion and evaluation. Again, this is a six mark criteria, but we'll also in this video quickly discuss communication, which is obviously throughout your whole report, but it's the last two marks out of the 20. So we'll start with the conclusion and evaluation. Okay. Again, we're looking at two major dot points, but three pieces of three things we're looking for under one of those dot points. The first one, insightful interpretation of research evidence about the content demonstrated by, remember that's the important bit, justified conclusions linked to the research question. So looking at your data, can you summarize all of them? Can you summarize the limitations and tie those things together to justify a conclusion about your research question? Remember when we did the student experiment and we looked at the QCAA exemplar and their conclusions are quite big. They want you to go back through, summarize all of your data, summarize all the limitations before you form your conclusion, okay? And justify your conclusion based on that data. Then we go through and we start evaluating the things that we have. So the first one, insightful discussion of the quality of evidence. So previously, in the analysis and interpretation, you looked at limitations of your evidence or things that were missing from your evidence. In this section, I want you to think about things like who wrote it? When did they write it? Write it. Does it have any bias? Is it recent? Is it from a published science, uh, like a trustworthy scientific organization? So the quality of the evidence that you've used. Okay. Next one, extrapolation of credible findings of the research to the claim. You must link back to the claim. You must say, so based on the answer to my research question, the claim of, and maybe restate the claim if you've got enough words, is or can be found to be true, not true, or partially true and requires more investigation. Okay, you must link your findings or your conclusions specifically to the claim that it came from in the first place. And then the last dot point in this section, suggested improvements and extensions to the investigation that are considered and relevant to the claim. So improvements, you need to be thinking about, okay, well, what did I view or what did I state as a limitation in my evidence? Okay, what was missing that I needed to better answer my question? And then extensions, you go back to your extrapolation of credible findings and say, well, if I couldn't fully answer the claim based on my research question, what other information would I need to address the claim? So improvements, it's good to look at what limitations you suggested. Extensions, okay, well, why couldn't I fully answer my claim? If you do those things again, then you should be up here in the six box. If one of them comes down here in this second box, it will be a five. Okay, quick look down at the communication criteria. There are three dot points here. We've said this before as well. Everybody should be getting a two, okay? Fluent and concise use of scientific language and representations. Now we're well aware some of you don't write as well as, as others and that's okay. What you can absolutely do is get appropriate use of genre conventions. Okay, so you can set this up like a scientific report and you can use the headings that you'll give. Then you'll get that tick. Acknowledgement of sources of information through appropriate use of referencing conventions. So do you have a reference list at the end? Do you have in-text referencing of any quotes, facts, figures, diagrams, all that sort of stuff? And are you using the Harvard system? So even if you know that you don't write fabulously, if you set this up like a scientific essay, and if you have your referencing done properly, you've got two of the three dot points in this top box, which means you will get a two. So everybody should get a two for this section, okay? If you have any questions about your assignment, Dr. Thomas and I are always here to help. Otherwise, good luck writing it.